President Emerson Mnangagwa is faced with a dilemma over who to appoint the new Chief Justice CJ amid indications that the recently retired Luke Malaba could ditch the fight to extend his tenure by five years. It has it matched. This followed a ruling by the High Court last Saturday that Malaba had ceased to be the Chief Justice by operation of law when he turned 70 on May the 15th. Justice Happy has shown Edith Moshore and Jester Elena Charewa ruled that Malaba could not benefit from Constitutional Amendment Number no. 2 bill, which Mnangagwa had hurriedly signed into law a few days earlier, because the term extension provided by Section 186 of the Constitution did not apply to any sitting judges of the Constitutional Court and Supreme Court. The ruling effectively blocked the move by Mnangagwa to extend Malaba's tenure by five years. Government appealed that the ruling with Justice Minister Siambi Siambi attacking the judges for the ruling, which left Mnangagwa having to choose a new CJ from a list he appears not to be comfortable with. Analysts said that Munangagwa begrudgingly recognized that he had made a mistake in extending Malawa's term when he said on Tuesday that he accepted the ruling by the High Court in apparent rebuke to Ziambi for questioning the judiciary's impartiality. Sources close to the developments also said Malaba could throw in the towel following the four and legal challenges the move had created. Following the recent amendments to the constitution, Mnangagwa can appoint Malaba's replacement without subjecting them to public interviews, although he is still has to consult the Judicial Service Commission. In the event of Malaba electing to decline the extension of his era, by the president, the pending appeals lodged by Ziambi Ziambi and the Attorney General Prince Machaya will just be for academic purposes. This will render the selection of the next Chief Justice wide open, as souls has told reporters. The Deputy CJ Elizabeth Kwaunza is the acting CJ with sources saying the front runners were three judges with Liberation War credentials, Justice Charles Wungwe, George Chiweshe and Chinembi Ribunu. Justice Kwaunza was also in the running along with Justice Pazington Garwe and Rita Makarao, the sources added. Garwe and Makarao were appointed to the Constitutional Court yesterday. The acting CJ is 68 years old and hails from Gutu in Mashingo, while Makarao, who hails from Goromonzi in Mashonaland East, is the youngest contender at 61. She was strongly favored before Malaba was appointed to replace the late Godfrey Chichikao by the late former President Robert Mugabe on March the 27th on 2017, some eight months before he was deposed by the military. Chiweshe, who is 68, as the current judge president, a position he has held since 2010. He comes from Azoe and has Liberation War credentials. His Chimnega name was Comrade Yesa Arafat, after the late Palestinian leader. At independence, he joined the army and rose to the rank of Brigadier General before retirement. He retired from the army in 2001 upon his appointment to the bench. He is also a former chairperson of the Delamination Commission of Zimbabwe, to which he was appointed in 2004. In 2005, he was appointed to head the newly established Zimbabwe Electoral Commission. Another contender is Justice Hongwe, another war veteran and lawyer who is aged 63, and he is the founding national chairperson of the Zimbabwe National Liberation War Veterans Association. Justice Bunu, 63, from Mashingo, is a war veteran seen as another favorite, a former senior president of the Labor Court, and he was appointed to the Supreme Court in 2015. The 67 year old Justice Garway is one of the most senior judges currently on the bench and he previously held positions such as Chief Magistrate and Secretary for the Justice Ministry. It would be prudent for Malaba to preserve whatever little he has been left of his legacy by declining the extension of his tenure. It is not in the best interest of the judiciary in Zimbabwe that from the look of things he seems to have worked in chaos with politicians to extend his tenure as the Chief Justice, wherein the Constitution was rushed through Parliament for his sole benefit, said a senior lawyer who declined identification.